Hi everyone, my name is Tung Phạm. So in this video, I will introduce you to some of the basic concept of table and figure in Stata. One of the first things that I want you to understand is about the Stata working environment. In Stata, we can encounter some type of file. First of all, in DTA file. So it is a dataset file that will hold all of your data. You can encounter like similar kind of file in other program like in Excel or SPSS. The second type of file that you need to remember is a do file. A do file is a data file that hold all of your code. Like you have already like tie all the code that will analyze your data from greening to creating the table. So a do file is created for that purpose. So you will hold everything that you created and make sure that you will be able to reproduce all of your analysis. Lastly, we have a log file. So a log file is a Stata result file. So like a log file will capture all of the Stata output that you like create when you analyze your data. So that is three type of files that we will primary use in Stata. In the next section, we will talk about table creation in Stata. So normally with a research in Stata or any kind of program, we would like to create a table one that will describe the basic characteristic of our participant. A table two that may be describe the distribution of the outcome. And lastly, we may have a regression table that we create a regression model and we want to present that regression model in a table. Normally, like with other program, like if you using SPSS, like you have to use your use copy and paste from the result window into an Excel sheet to create table one, table two, or a regression table. But in Stata, all of these can be do automatically by using our data file, a do file, it will automatically create like a table that have the quality that is ready to publish even in international journal. So to create table in Stata, we can use several like user written packet to create table one that is like our very basic table. We can use table one, table one MC packet Tap our packet or base table packet. I will walk you to all of these three packets. And then like to create a regression table, we can use an array to packets or s tab and s out packets. They, these two are more advanced packets, but you will have a chance to practice with these in my example do file. First of all, we have a table one packet. So it is a very well established packet in Stata, it will help you describe the data in many different ways and many with many different type of variable. For example, the supported variable here we have like continuous, normally distributed variable. We can describe like continuous and skill variable. We can describe categorical variable that using like Pearson T square to compare this variable, or we can use a feature exact test or binary or binary variable. So these are a very useful packet. Now we are in the Stata working environment. In order for you to easily see what's going on on my screen, I'm going to change the layout a little bit. I will go to edit, preference, and I will load a preset. I will load a presentation preset. So everything now look a little bit bigger and will be easier for you to see what's going on. So we have already talked about like the table one packet. So one of the helpful commands for us when I trying to understand how a packet work, I will type help into the command console. I will type help table one. If you have already installed the table one packet, And then here, you can find like a help file that have everything on the table one packet. Now I'm going to divide the screen into two. 
out of audio to easier see I will turn off the review console here it said table 1 will help you to create a table 1 a baseline characteristic for a manuscript and here they have the syntax that table 1 if in and they also support weight for a survey that have different weight and they have like different variable spec like they support a lot of variable type and they have a lot of other options that you can spend time to play with but the problem here I'm trying to use like they have some example like code here we can try to use the code here they are set up they are did not set up to be auto run so we have to copy and paste it in the command console for example we can copy this command into the command console and then they will load a, a example data set and then we can create copy as a command and paste it into the command console in here I have to copy the command into the command console and then try to make the command into the same line because like it would taken into a like different line and they write the code and then I hit enter and then they create a summary table for me it was a little bit cut off so I will try to run the command again and then you can see like it create a very nice and beautiful table that can be used in our paper one of the things to note is that like it not only can export the table into our Stata Result console but they can also export the data into an Excel file that would be ready for, for us to use in our publication we can use a saving option and save it to an Excel file that we want the second package that we are going to talk about is Table 1 MC package so it's a uh, uh, upgraded version of the table one packet that like packs many new features. For example, the ability to put the output in a, in a word processor file, a docx file that you will need like Stata version 15.1 or higher. Otherwise, like, this packet will work fine if you have Stata 14.2 or higher. So the table one MC packet they already support a lot of like variables that have already been described in table one packet only one exception is that they also support like a continuous log normally distributed variable and they also like have the option to create like many things else for the game so like, they can still export like the table into like an excel file but now you have the control to export like different table into different excel sheet for example you want to create five table but you only want to have one excel file with different sheet for different file table one mc can support that now we are inside the data working environment again we're going to like see like how can we learn more about the table one MC packet? We will type head table one MC. Remember to install this packet first. Now they show us a window that have like different like table one MC code and explanation. They talk about table one MC also have to create a table one the baseline characteristic for a manuscript and other description and option but now we can like go down to see like there were many example code here one of the nice thing about like the example code with like this new packet like we can we only need to click in it and the program will run and then here they will generate a new variable the unit they only need to click on the code and the program here will run your code here I click on this code and it creates a table for me. So in here table one by foreign would like it designated as a variable that they win divided the column and then all of the other variable in the var here the all of the variable that they win describe in the table. And you can here you can including like the format of the variable 
the format of the variable down to how many like decimals you want to place and so on and in here they also include the uh, table that basically describe your data set something that would will not be included in the final table for example with all these factors you can see like the big n is the number of record have been used and the small n is the number of record not used the number of record not used here for often mean like there was some missing data in the data set and so like some of the records that have missing data will not be used in the final table and in in this like summary table they will let you know like which record have been used in the table so you can like have a big picture overview of the data and here is the data and they have a very nice note here like data presented at mean and standard deviation and or median and interquantile and so on and here we can save the result file into a .docx file for data version 15.1 or higher and here are also like different code that you can try to play with in table 1 MC. Finally, we have a base table packet. Base table packet is a new packet have been developed among all of these packets and personally I use this packet a lot. You can read more about this packet in this website. Yes, and the base table packet not only allow us to create like basic characteristic table but they can also like help you to format the table a little bit add some column here and there and then like format it as many as you want and then you also be, will be able to like export it into an excel file to different suite of the excel file and so on coming back to the Stata working environment let's see what like base table packet have in house first we also type help base table and then they give us a viewer a help of the base table. In here they also have some examples that you can could use. Here we just click on the code and they will load an example data set. They will define some new variable, define some new label for the variable, uh, create a sample data set with some label and missing data and then generate a statistical significant data to demonstrate some of the example in here they also have some example for us on how it would go they have a example base table code that create a table for it by on like the number of participants and stuff like that. We will learn more about it during our practice.